hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg's Corn Pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin', tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pop! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In the early days, great wagon trains carried emigrants into the West, many in search of peaceful homes along a new frontier. But always with them came the tin horns, gamblers, and hardened criminals escaping justice. So there was a constant battle for law and order. And riding into this warfare came the greatest fighter of them all, scout, sharpshooter, United States Marshal, Wild Bill Hickok. Rainbow Falls is a peaceful community since Wild Bill brought order to it. And now, since it's time for him to ride on, the grateful settlers are throwing a big dance in his honor at the Skinner Ranch. It's night as Bill, with his faithful deputy Jingles, ties up at the Skinner Ranch house. do see do and around you go. <laughs> I'm going to swing them pretty gals right off their feet. You are, Jingles? Of course I am. Well, except for one thing. What's that? Well, well, Bill, how do you get up nerve enough to ask a pretty gal to dance with you? Now, I guess you'll have to figure that one out for yourself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come on in, Mr. Hickok, Jingles. We've been waiting for you. Evening, Mrs. Skinner. Uh, we're sure here now, Mrs. Skinner. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's get the dance started. That's my plan. If I can get that fiddler going. <laughs> well, Heidi to you, gents. Heidi. Well, if it ain't old Pop Carter. How are you, Pop? First rate. So you're finally going to leave the law unto me again, huh? <laughs> sure, Pop. You know, there ain't a better deputy than you anywhere. <laughs> Been a deputy around Rainbow Falls the past 30 years. Slowed down, maybe, but I can still hold a gun. Yeah, Pop, we're leaving things in good hands. Well, thank you. I'll be down to the office bright and early. Oh, there's Ed Flagg, foreman of the Lazy Y. Howdy, Mr. Flagg. Uh, howdy, Pop. Well, oh, Hickok, I'm kind of surprised to see you here tonight. We wouldn't have missed it for anything, Mr. Flagg. Maybe you ain't seen this item in the paper. Well, what about it? Dated a week ago. Better have a look. Oh, Bill, this ain't no time to be reading a newspaper. Wait, Jingles. It's about Jimmy Cloud. He's been released from prison. Jimmy Cloud? Oh, he's the young fellow you sent to prison for that payroll robbery a couple of years ago. He's the one. Cloud swore he'd get even with you, Hickok, once he got out. It seems I remember his saying something like that. What do you reckon he'll be up to now? Think he'll try coming back to Rainbow Falls? Mr. Flagg, if you're talking about Jimmy Cloud, you can just bet he's coming back. Huh? How do you know that, Miss Skinner? Because it just so happens I wrote him, offering him a job right here on this ranch. What? what? You bringing that no-good thief back into this community? Yes, and why not? He's paid for what he did. Jimmy's just a young boy. He's got a right to a new start, and I'm giving it to him. Well, there's other folks got something to say about that. Let them say it. I'm saying Jimmy Cloud's entitled to another chance. Well, Hickok, what are you going to do about it? About what, Flag? You know what I mean. You going to let that outlaw come in? Unless somebody can give me a good reason not to. He's got a grudge against you. He said himself that he'd gun you down. Jimmy Cloud's had plenty of time to change his mind. Now, Mrs. Skinner, if it's all the same to you, let's get on with the dance. Well, I, I got up my nerve, Bill. I sure got up my nerve. So I noticed, Jingles. It was a great party. Yes, sir. You know, them gals sure knew they was getting swung. Hey, best dance I've been to since Sitting Bull stood up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of hate to leave this country. Folks have been mighty friendly. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mrs. Skinner and all the rest, Ed Flag and... Hey, say, Bill. Yeah, Jingle? About Jimmy Cloud. Now, I heard him myself when he swore to get you. Well, just the same, Jimmy's not a hardened criminal. He's, he's just a kid who never had a chance. Uh-huh. Get off on the wrong foot, and 
Well, he's never even learned to read and write. Well, just the same, that don't mean he ain't smart. Now, he was the best shot in the county in the way he pulled that payroll robbery. He had quite a trick, setting fire to that building. Yeah, and then, well, everybody was fighting the fire. He made off with the money, and if it hadn't have been for you... Well, but... Jingles, let's just hope Jimmy's learned his lesson and goes the right way rather than the wrong. Dark, ain't it? Easy, boy, now, easy. The horses know the way through this draw, even if we can't. Bill, look out! Behind the rocks, Jingles, quick! He missed us. He missed us a country mile, and, and we were seven ducks out there. There, across the canyon. Smoke him out. Hold it, Jingles. There he goes, walking over the hill. <laughs> Gave up quick, didn't he? After him, Jingles. Let's go! Hi, cowpokes. <laughs> this is your old saddle mate, Panhandle Jim. Now, those boys are walking into plenty of trouble here, you betcha. Say, you know how the old-time ranchers used to eat when they were riding herd across the plains? Well, they took their grub right along with them in the chuck wagon. And that's what you do with Kellogg's Corn Pops when you're riding the trail. Take them right along with you and eat them right out of the box. Because Kellogg's Corn Pops are already sweetened for you. But come breakfast time, pour them out in a bowl and add a little milk. Now, don't go pouring sugar on them. <laughs> no, sir. Because like I just said, they've already got the sweetening right on them. Every single corn pop. Now, if you're eating them right now, look at the bag inside the box. It's pure aluminum. It keeps Kellogg's corn pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your ma will want to hear this. That bag's wonderful for storing things in the refrigerator or for carrying sandwiches in and keeping them fresh and crisp as a Colorado morning. Now, don't go messing around with one box of corn pops. Get your maw to load up big, enough for everybody in the family. Then out of the box or out of the bowl, you can have all the Kellogg's corn pops you want, and you'll want plenty. Remember, kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Now, tie up close here, and let's listen to more of this exciting story. Now, back to Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles. Returning late at night from a dance given in their honor, they rode right into an ambush. Neither was hit, and as the gunman broke for the hills, they went after him. The shots come from behind this mesquite, Bill, and I don't know what you expect to find, though. You never know until you look. Got a match, Jingles? Yeah, here you are. Hmm. Plenty of tracks around. A couple of burnt matches. Yeah, means he waited here for us to ride through the draw. Bill, if you ask me, which you generally don't... Jingles. Yeah? Huh? Have a look. One word scratched in the dirt. Revenge. Uh, didn't mind leaving his calling card, did he? Looks like Ed Flagg was right. Was he, Jingles? Well, about Jimmy Cloud, the young feller is out to get you. Don't start saying things you can't prove. Just scratch this out and forget about it. Forget about it? Well, now, now what do you mean by that? For one thing, it means we're not leaving Rainbow Falls. I sure can't figure you two out. You said you was pulling last night, but you've been hanging around the marshal's office all day. We decided there was no rush, Pop. No, me and Bill kind of like it around Rainbow Falls. Or maybe you just figured I wasn't a good enough deputy. That it? No, no, nothing like that, Pop. Oh, come in, Mr. Flagg. I see you're still around, Hickok. You know Pete Driscoll, one of my hands. Howdy, Hickok. Yeah. Hello. What's on your mind this evening, Mr. Flagg? Well, us and the boys just finished loading a big bunch of cattle over to Sidon. The buyer paid us off in cash. Yeah, over $10,000. Too much money to carry around, considering. I'll tell it, Pete. By the time we got the money, the bank was closed. Of course, I'm only the former of the Lazy Y, but I sure hate to see the boss have this much money laying around the ranch house all night. Well, don't you trust folks around here, Flagg? Not with that no-good Jimmy Cloud around, I don't. So you want us to take care of the money for you, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind, Hickok. It ought to be safe here. I uh, guess you know Jimmy Cloud's here in town. No, I hadn't heard. Well, he is. 
making plenty of big talk about what he's going to do to you, Hickok, and carrying his gun ready. You mean you saw him? Just a minute ago, he's over at the Eaton house. We'll keep the money here for you, Mr. Flagg, if that's what you want. It's all here in this envelope. I'll feel better when you lock it up. Just don't tell anybody about it. Thanks, Hickok. We ain't telling nobody. Come on, Pete. So Cloud did come back. Now, Bill, you gotta be careful. Pop, I've got a little job for you. All right, sure, Bill. Anything you say. Stay here in the office till we get back and keep your eyes open. Oh, I've got my gun right across my knees. Nobody can outfox old Pop Carter. Good. Right now, Jingles and I are going over to the cafe and welcome Jimmy Cloud home. Hello, Jimmy. Hickok. Wild hey. Bill Hickok. Surprised to see us, Jimmy? Why, why, no. No, of course not. Well, what do you want? Oh, just wanted to say hello and see how things are with you. I'll bet you did. Well, I'm all right, so stop worrying. I'm out of prison and I'm back and there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. You served your time. Yeah. Yeah, you saw to that. Well, is that all? Where were you last night, Jimmy? Where I was is no business of yours. Now, I think you better answer Bill's question, Jimmy. All right. For what difference it makes? I was camping up on Goose Creek. All night? Anyone see you there? No. I was alone all night. Why? Hmm, just thought I'd ask. You see, Jingles and I ran into some trouble last night on the way back from the Skinner dance. Somebody with a rifle tried to kill us. I know what you're thinking. I no sooner get back to town than it all starts again. Well, I didn't do it. I never accuse a man till I know he's guilty. And if you want to know something else, I'm staying. Mrs. Skinner's in town and still wants me to come to work for her. And that's just what I'm going to do. All right, Jimmy. We wish you luck. Now, hold on, Jimmy. Where, where do you think you're going? Down to my shack. And nobody's stopping me. Well, Jingles, let's get back and relieve Pop Carter. Oh, that shotgun of his will keep him company. Hey, you know, I wonder if he ever used it. He might if he had to. Jingles, that light down the street. Yeah, what do you reckon? Those flames shooting out of the window down there. Holy cow, it's the marshal's office. It's on fire. Come on, Jingles. Fire! Fire! Everybody out! Bring the water bucket! Fire! Hurry it up before it burns to the ground! The marshal's office and the whole town with it. Fire's about out. Nothing much left but smoke, Bill. Let me to the door now. I'm going in. Careful, Bill. Stay behind. Well, the lamp busted. I, I, I can't, don't know what else could start it like this. Jingles, here on the floor. Jumping bullfrogs, it's old Pop Carter. Smoke must have got him. Not the smoke, Jingles. Look again. Bill, he's been shot. That's right. Pop Carter's dead. Poor old Pop. What you doing, Bill? Having a look in the safe. Mr. Hickok, are you all right? Outside, Jingles. What's going on, Hickok? Just a minute, Mr. Flagg. Folks, we didn't just have a fire here tonight. We've had a robbery and a murder. Robbery? Not the money I left here. That's right, Mr. Flagg. Carter's dead, and your boss's cattle money's gone, every cent of it. I thought as much. And you know who done it? It's the work of Jimmy Cloud. You've got no right to say that, Mr. Flagg. Nobody saw Jimmy here. Nobody had to. It's the same kind of job he pulled two years ago. Firing the building and making his getaway in the excitement. Just the same. A man's innocent till you prove him guilty. We got all the proof we want. He'll get you next, Hickok. I warned you. You know, it looks mighty bad for Jimmy, Bill. Better mount up, Jingles. The rest of you stay here and take care of Pop. Going someplace, Hickok? To a little shack at the edge of town. Let's hope Jimmy Cloud's still there. Well, there's his horse outside the shack, Bill. Yeah, Jingles. Means Jimmy's inside. Well, he must be local, staying around at a time like this. Shh. We won't bother to knock. Hickok! What's the idea? Freeze, Jimmy. I ain't drawn. Why should I? Packing to go somewhere, Jimmy? Well, what if I am? It's no business of yours. It could be, Jimmy. 
Or didn't you know? Somebody just set the marshal's office on fire after killing Pop Carter and taking over $10,000. Well, that, that doesn't mean I had anything to do with it. Then maybe you wouldn't mind if I searched the place. No, no, search all you like. A lot you'll find around here. Keep an eye on him, Jingles. Yeah, go on. Keep looking. I got nothing to hide. Then why are you packing your war bag? Why are you fixing to pull out when the ruckus starts? That ought to be easy to guess. I thought folks in Rainbow Fall would give me a chance. Well, Mrs. Skinner wanted to. And I was going to take her up on it till I realized it wouldn't be fair to her. Everybody's making it hard on her just because she wanted to give me a job. Because she believed in me. I still believe in you, Jimmy, no matter what anybody says. Mrs. Skinner. Mrs. Skinner, I, I appreciate what you wanted to do, but it's no good. They don't want me here. They'll get over it. Now, you pick up your thing and come on out to the ranch right now. Mrs. Skinner, I'm uh, afraid Jimmy can't do that. And why not? Jimmy, this envelope I just found in the bottom drawer. What was it doing there? Why, well, I, I don't know. I never saw it before. You sure about that? Bill, that's the one that had all the lazy Y money in it. Money? Well, I don't know anything about any money. Jimmy, if you know, tell him. But I don't know, Mrs. Skinner. I swear I don't. You'd better give me your gun, Jimmy. There's nothing I can do now but lock you up. Guess that'll hold you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, nice and safe. With a bunch of woolly ranchers out there already tying a rope. You're not giving the boy a chance, Mr. Hickok. Locking him up in this busted-down jail. I had to lock him up, Mrs. Skinner. The evidence is all against him so far. But do you think he's guilty? That's what I want to know. Bill, Bill! Keep that door locked, Jingles. Bill, it got around town plenty quick about your bringing a cloud here. And you know what they're up to. Let me out of here, Hickok. Not just yet, Jimmy. Uh, it ain't just the mob outside either. Flag and Driscoll are over at the Apache and doing plenty of talking. They'll all be down here before long. Mrs. Skinner, do you know how to handle a shotgun? You just bet I do. Give me one and I'll show you. And here you are. Jingles and I have a job to do. I'll keep them off, all right. Where are you going? To get the man who killed Pop Carter. Say, I'll bet my ten-gallon hat you buckaroos believe all I do while the Wild Bill shows on is think up things to say about Kellogg's Corn Pops. Well, it just isn't so, because I'm too busy eating pops and, <laughs> and listening. And thinking up nice things to say about corn pops don't take a bit of effort at all. It's as simple as this. Kellogg's corn pops are the two-way cereal. You eat them out of the box or out of the bowl with milk. Now, no sugar, mind you. The sweetening's already on corn pops, and plenty of it. Oh, they're sweet, crisp, and crunchy, and mighty good for growing young ranch hands. Tell your ma that corn pops give you B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. That means you can eat all you want, which is going to be plenty. Say, in that pure aluminum bag inside keeps corn pops fresh up to ten times longer. And it's wonderful for packing sandwiches in or for storing foods in the icebox. So if you aren't already settled back enjoying Kellogg's corn pops right now, you better saddle up and ride down the store tomorrow and get a load of them. You'll need plenty, because the whole family's going to be getting into them and maybe leave you without enough. <laughs> now, let's say our little saying together. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Good for you. Right now, I'm almost busting to get back to the show. Let's listen. <laughs> Now let's get back to Rainbow Falls as Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles leave Mrs. Skinner to guard Jimmy Cloud. They step through the crowd gathered outside and walk directly to the brightly lighted Apache gambling house. Bill, I don't get it. Now you said yourself all the evidence pointed to Jimmy Cloud. All the evidence isn't in, Jingles. But what more do you want? Easy. Ed Flagg and Pete Driscoll are over there at the bar. Yeah, you know, for just a foreman, Flagg's be throwing a lot of money around. There's only one way to handle numbers like Cloud. Yeah, and I see we get at it pronto. Yeah, he's right. Well, if it ain't Hickox. 
You finally see things my way, huh? Your way, Flag? You put Jimmy Cloud in jail, didn't you? <laughs> a lot of good that'll do once we get at him. Now, Jimmy's getting a fair trial, Driscoll. Bill's seeing to that. There's no need of waiting for a trial. I agree with you, Flag. Huh? What do you mean by that? I mean, I don't think Jimmy had anything to do with the robbery. Well, hey, but you locked him up. Man. Only for safekeeping. Flag, last night somebody tried to kill Jingles and me, and I think it was the same man who engineered the killing and robbery tonight. Sure it was. Jimmy Cloud. No, Driscoll. He left something scribbled in the dirt. The word revenge. Cloud swore he'd get you. He wrote it. Did he? Jimmy never went to school a day in his life. How would he know how to write? Why, sure. Jimmy couldn't have wrote it. And if Jimmy tried to kill us, he wouldn't have missed. He's too good a shot for that. Ed, let's get out of here. Shut up, Driscoll. Hickok don't know what he's talking about. Anyhow, that don't mean Cloud didn't do the killing tonight. It makes a lot of difference. I think somebody set up that ambush last night just to make Jimmy look guilty. And then plan the robbery knowing Jimmy's the one we'd go after. You're guessing, Hickok. You don't know nothing. Only one thing more. Besides Pop, Jingles, and myself, only two other men knew the money belonging to the Lazy Y was at the marshal's office. Why? That was Ed Flagg and Pete Driscoll. Ed. Bill, watch out! Well, Driscoll won't have no more to say. But Flagg will. Better tell it all, Flagg, while you can. Hickok, you mean I... That's I'm going... right. That's right. Whatever you say won't make any difference now. Where's the money? It's... It's under the bunkhouse floor at the Lazy Y. We'll see that your boss gets it. You fired the shots last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cloud didn't, didn't have nothing to do with it. I planted the empty money envelope in his shack. Help him up, boys. Flag's only hit in the shoulder. He'll live. Hickok, you double-crossed me. You knew all the time I was going to live. Anyhow, long enough for the trial and what generally follows. Well, Mrs. Skinner, looks like you're going to have to throw another big dance. That's right, Jingles, and this time in honor of my new cow hand. You're going to work for her after all, Jimmy. Yeah, Bill, thanks to you. I, I guess I had you all wrong, but believe me, I, I didn't come back to get you. I know that. I think folks around here will think differently toward you from now on. Well, it's about time. Folks got to learn to have some faith in humanity. You're right, Mrs. Skinner. Showing a little kindness does a lot more for a boy than a prison could ever do. You really mean that about showing kindness, Mrs. Skinner? Well, of course I do, Jingles. Why? Well, I was just thinking, if we all went with you to the ranch right now, we'd just get there in time for breakfast. <laughs> well, then, come along. I'll fry you up enough bacon and eggs and potatoes to hold you till Christmas. <laughs> Uh, did you ever notice, Bill, things always seem to look brighter after breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. I hope you enjoyed our Wild Bill Hickok story today and that you'll be around when we write in again next week. <laughs> I guess I'll end up in trouble again, huh, Guy? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. But Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at this same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Virginia Gregg, Fred Howard, Fred Shields, and Irvin Lee. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, Pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops.